Hey everybody, welcome back. Now, if you got my first email, I talked about posture and how it's important for you in singing. It helps you think better, okay? put less strain on your back and your neck muscles. When there's less tension in your body, okay, there's less tension and strain in your vocal singing. And also, uh, you look more confident, you look happier, you look healthier. You know, people look at you more when you have good posture and they'll listen to you more also as well. But most importantly, it helps you breathe easier. Okay, and, you know, our breath starts with our lungs and ends up in our, in the, within our mouth. So if there's any um, you know, bent out of shape or any uh, twisted, it's going to affect your singing okay, and your tone as well. So this training here will talk to you about breathing and support. Now, one of the myths about breathing is that you, people tell you that you have to really focus on your breathing. You have to pay attention to it. That's the part that's going to give you that big sound and that's it. But you know, the truth about it, proper breathing is important, is required for singing, but you don't need to pay a whole lot of attention or focus on your breathing. Okay. You are born to breathe correctly. You breathe in and out. And you know, when it's time for you to breathe, you will breathe. And in singing, you should be as natural and normally as you are to speak. Now, the only difference in speaking and singing is that when we speak, we take shorter breaths. When we sing, because we're holding our tones longer, we need to hold a breath a little longer too. Okay, so now your vocal cords cannot create sound without air. You need air for your vocals to vibrate to produce a sound. Proper breathing gives you the ability to, first, number one, sing longer phrases. Another one is control on your pitches. You'll stay more in tune when you have a good breathing uh, flow. Another thing is that you have stronger singing tones. Okay, So those are the three pr pretty much the things that you need to help you um, on your breathing. So let's do some exercises here. Okay, Before we get started, let's go talk about how the body works, how the breathing system works now. Now, you know that our, the diaphragm. Okay, The diaphragm is a thin layer muscle that's look located right below you, lungs here, and it's, it's a thin layer that wraps around your body. Now, your diaphragm controls your breathing. Okay, so when I breathe in, it fills up the air with lungs, and I let it out, it blows it out. And blow it out. When I breathe again, and blows it out. Now, you're gonna find when I do this, how my tummy here kind of expands when I breathe in, and let it out, okay, when I let the air out, okay? so. Now I'm going to talk to you about another thing is that I do a lot of visual examples. The reason why I need to do that because obviously you can't see it inside of your body. So for me to give you a visual example, if you give you, give you a better picture and how things are going to work. Okay, so the first thing you're going to work on is we're going to try and do this. Um, you're going to put your hands on your side, right above your hips, right below your ribs. Okay, there's a soft spot here. Okay, so what I want you to do is First thing, you're gonna, we're going to try and see if we can feel this expansion uh, around the tummy area or the waistline area. So what we're going to do is you're going to bend your knees, okay, and you're going to lean forward and you're going to take a nice deep breath and then you're going to blow it out. Breathe in again and blow it out. So you're going to feel this expansion here, okay. Another one you want to do is that you put your arms up like this, way up, okay, and you're going to breathe in and blow it out. Breathe in, blow it out. You feel the expansion right around here too. The reason why I want you to do that is that this way here, it'll keep your shoulders down. Because a lot of us, when we breathe, we tend to, when I tell you to breathe, you're gonna breathe like, you're gonna breathe up and down like this. So, and I can do without doing this without breathing. So it'll keep your shoulders down so you focus right around this area, okay? so. First visual example, just imagine that you have an upside down ice cream cone. Okay. You're going to breathe from the bottom to the top. Breathe from the bottom to the top. Okay. So that's how you're going to do it. Also, you're going to, you're going to breathe from sideways, not up and down. This, this is up and down. So you don't want to breathe like that. Okay. You want to breathe in. when you breathe normally, naturally, you breathe right around this air. So actually from side to side. That's how you want to do it. And also another example is that you might think that here's, you know, your belly button here. 
when you breathe in, your belly button, it goes away from your spine. And with the air out, the belly button goes towards the back of your spine. So those are simple examples that you might want to help you so you get better understanding how to breathe right around your diaphragm area. Okay? So let's try this in here. What we're going to do is we're going to do this exercise. We're doing reps. A rep is we're going to do breathing two counts and then we're going to hiss for eight. We're going to breathe in two counts and hiss for eight. So that's a rep. So I'm going to put my metronome here. Okay? It goes like this. I'm going to breathe in two counts. And here's and breathing two counts and here's okay if I got that okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do four reps meaning that we're gonna do one rep is two counts and his for eight that's a rep so we do four of those and then we'll take a little pause for a moment then we'll do four more so Four of those will be a set, and then we do another set, which is four reps, okay? So once again, we're gonna put this on here. Just remember now, okay, just you're gonna start from the bottom to the top. Breathe, think of breathe from sideways, not up and down, and your belly button is going away from your spine when you breathe, and go towards the back of your spine, okay? Also, you wanna think about this too. Think of that there's a wheel in front of you, and it's, it's spinning like this, okay? It's spinning while, you, while you're letting the, when you breathe in and hiss out, and it'll remind you that it'll start from the bottom to the top and bottom. So keeping that airflow stream nice and open and flowing easily. Okay? So we're gonna do this in here. Okay, so we do four reps, take a take a pause, do more four reps. Okay, here we go. Five, six, seven, breathe. And here. Breathe in. And here. Breathe in and here. Breathe in and here. And relax. Good. All right. Let's do it again. Okay, here we go. Five, six, seven, breathe. And here. Breathe in and here. Breathe in and here. Breathe in and here. And relax. Good. I hope that helps you, makes it a lot easier, and you give an understanding how your breathing system works. Now once again, like I said, you don't have to dwell on it, okay? Don't work hard on it because you don't need that much air to create a sound, okay? So, but you still need to be aware of it, how your breathing works, okay? So I'll be doing next one, I'll be talking about support.